The United Nations is warning millions now face famine. We can avoid the unmanageable impact of climate change. How much do we know about this COVID-19 virus? The humanitarian toll of the crisis is enormous. We live in an era of crises. The world is facing the highest levels of humanitarian need in a generation. Crises are happening at a bigger scale, they're more severe, and they last longer. But here's the thing. It's not just that the world is increasingly full of crises. It's that the way it responds to those crises is under a lot of strain, and some are arguing it's not viable. We are facing arguably the biggest humanitarian emergency that our generation has seen, and the response has been pitiful. International aid is reactive instead of preventative. There's never enough money, and it's rife with unethical power dynamics. And when it comes to those power dynamics and many other challenges, there's been a lot of talk about reform, but not nearly as much change. Crises are moments of change. It's only after these crises that flaws in AIDS approach are revealed. But in recent months, COVID-19 and Black Lives Matter have really re-energized some of the long-standing critiques about how the sector operates. So if there was ever a time to seriously re-examine the future of aid, it's now. And I think Black Lives Matter is a, is a wake-up call around building the next generation of institutions that put equality, inclusion, racial justice at their heart, particularly in, in the development or humanitarian sector. So in this podcast, we're going to explore the future of crisis response at this time of potential, but still mostly unrealized, transformation. Will the current model survive? Can it even change itself? And if not, what might take its place? Welcome to Rethinking Humanitarianism, a podcast series co-hosted by The New Humanitarian and the Center for Global Development. In Washington, D.C., I'm Jeremy Kneindijk. And in Geneva, Switzerland, I'm Hiba Ali. Hiba and I will be your co-hosts for this series. We're going to explore the decolonization of aid, problems with humanitarian governance, scandals in the aid sector, and we'll look at how money shapes just about everything. We'll speak to diplomatic powerhouses, frontline responders, and policymakers from around the world to hear their perspectives on why past humanitarian reforms have fallen short, whether this time will be different, and some bold visions for the future of aid. Take a blank slate. Let's define what our purpose is globally for humanitarianism. Just cobbling around the edges of what exists now is the easy, timid way. It takes no fortitude. Look out for Rethinking Humanitarianism coming soon to a podcasting app near you.